Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All right, um, I want to talk about this idea that angels tried to have sex with men in Sodom. And I've seen a number of people, it, an unbelievable number of people, who are teaching this. And I, I'm wondering, why is that? Why are these people just openly teaching something that's clearly the opposite of what the Bible says? It's unbelievable. And I think they teach it because they want to support this idea that angels have sex. And it's like a really subtle way to make Jesus a liar because Jesus clearly says angels don't have sex they don't marry and here before I get into all that stuff before I go that way let's establish what really happened in Sodom did the angels try to have sex with the men in Sodom or is it as I suggest that it was the men trying to have sex with the angels so let's read, okay, Genesis uh, 19, and there came two angels of Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lot seeing them rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground, and he said, behold, now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways, and they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. <clears throat> and he pressed upon them greatly, because he knew. And they turned in unto him, and entered into his house. And he made them a feast, and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men, which were the angels, which came in to thee this night? Bring them unto us, that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them, and shut the door after him, and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold, I have two daughters. So he's offering his daughters instead in place of his own daughters. He's offering his own daughters in place of the two angels. So all these men of Sodom, the men of Sodom, wanted Lot to bring them, the angels, so that the men of Sodom could have sex with the angels. Okay, this is it. There's no suggestion whatsoever that the angels wanted to have sex with the men. But that's what people are teaching. And it's unbelievable. They, it's just like real subtle. They'll throw it in there. And it, it's the opposite of what the Bible says. And they think they're getting away with it. And they, they're, they, they are convincing people because there's a whole bunch of people that believe angels having sex okay and then of course they'll use Jude 1 as well yeah I think I got time uh, where's this at here I think it's real close here let's try to start right about here I think let me go verse 5 well, no, that's not going to work, is it? Well, okay, let's go verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first state, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil 
of dignities. All right, so this, I think that's enough, right? So what they'll say is that right here in verse 7, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, what they say is this is not the men of Sodom and Gomorrah, but the angels. That's what they say. They say the angels going after strange flesh. They say this is talking about angels. And it's not. It's talking about the perverts in Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities round about. It's about the men. And there's never any mention whatsoever in any of this in the book of Jude suggesting angels were perverts or angels wanted to have sex or angels had sex. And none of that. But these people, real subtle, like they creep in and they try to make use this as an example. If they talk fast enough, you won't even, you won't, you know, you won't even, you know, stop to think and realize, hey, these people are lying to me. Right? And then in Genesis 6, of course, how people don't read this chapter, as much as it gets talked about, is beyond me. And people will, um, uh, uh, they'll look at verse, what is it, 4, 3, 2, whatever it is, and the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. So this is obviously men, people born from Adam. Okay, and this, verse 1 sets it up plainly. And it came to pass when men began to multiply, and then it, it says again, sons of God in place of men, and it says daughters of men in place of daughters. Uh, all right, it's, it's not complicated. But, and then what's verse 3 say? If there was any confusion about what the sons of God were, verse 3 should have cleared it up. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man. Man, how do you not see that? And again, uh, the sons of God mentioned in verse 4, and it talks about giants. People screw that up, but I won't go that way. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth. And the Lord said, I will destroy man. Man! How do you not see it? It's unbelievable. Who do you think he's talking about? Man. Man. Come on. All right, so it's unbelievable, really. These uh, people are either ignorant or they're just flat out lying. And I wanted to show this. The sex in Sodom was the men of Sodom trying to have sex with the angels, not the angels trying to have sex. Remember that, because you'll hear it again. You'll hear people say they'll slide it real fast. They'll slide it in there real quick. As if you weren't, if as if you're not paying attention, you won't pick up on it. But you're gonna pick up on it if you see this and hear me talking about it. You're gonna remember the next time you hear it, and you're gonna know these guys are lying to you. All right. Good day.